Leonard's Corner Shell is located at 448 South Main Street in Zumbrota, Minnesota. The corner of 5th and Main has had a long history. It was a prominent location in Zumbrota. It is a part of the old St. Paul Dubuque Road. This was the first territorial road that traveled between the two cities. Settlers and ox carts used this road to move through town. Zumbrota gained rights to route the trail through town and thereby routed commercial and immigration traffic through the city. The 272 mile log road was the most traveled road in Minnesota during the westward expansion. Today, Highway 52 follows some of the old trail. In 1901 through 1907, Zumbrota Bottling Works started by H.J. Hayes for the manufacture of temperance drinks. Here's a bill of sale for the goods purchased. The white building you see was the F.L. Marvin Eggs and Produce, which later became the Home Cafe. Because of this location, this is most likely the home now of the Skelly Station. February 16, 1930, the Egg and Poultry, Just Confectionery, and Colstead's Lunch burned down. The corner building had been originally a harness shop and had housed the post office at one time. The loss was estimated at $10,000. The commercial hotel, also known as the Midland and the New Hotel, was erected in 1876 or 1877 by George Cunningham with lumber hauled from Red Wing. Mason Smith and Lambert Skillman bought the hotel in 1914 and wrecked it for the lumber. This was also located on this block. Part of this property is now where Mattis Midtown is now. William Beavers purchased a Model 10 Buick, 22 horsepower from Skillman and Ness, who began selling automobiles in 1909. A carload of Ford Autos was received by Skillman and Ness in 1909. Cars arrived in crates, most likely by rail, taken upstairs and assembled. Slats from the packing crates were used for the floorboards. Also in 1910, many Zumbrota residents watched Haley's Comet during the week of April 20th, the first appearance in 75 years. New automobiles are lined up for display on Main Street. The community service station was built sometime in the 1920s. This allowed those with autos to fill up in Zumbrota. A brick two-story building was on the corner of 5th and Main, built in 1911, and was called Zumbrota Ford Motors. Later, it was renamed Bob Seeley Ford. The owners of Bob Seeley Ford included Tillman, Howard Bailey Jr., Ace Furrows in the 1940s, and Bob Seeley in 1954. Seeley moved it to the highway in 1971. The brick building was torn down and remained in a an empty lot until 1982. The Skelly Station was operated by James E. Clark in 1956. Later the business was owned by Ordine Griffith, T. Thompson, and then the Blockstead Brothers. While the term filling station came into common language, the term auto laundry was still being used to describe what we now call a car wash. The Blockstead Brothers built the present station in 1982. Bruce and Roxanne Mattis bought it in 1991. In April of 2015, the station became Leonard's Cornered Shell. There were three businesses located on that corner in recent history. Sombrota Motors, the Bar, the Q, the Skelly Station. The bar had a fire and burned down in 1958. Tat Thompson owned the building and later the Skelly Station next door. The Blockstead Brothers later bought this property and they built the station on this site. Daryl and Valerie Leonard own the station that is there today. It is now a shell station. This information is provided by the Zambroda Historic Walking Tour. Hope you enjoyed the tour.